This is a York system, and the complaint was that the uh, suction lines keep frosting up to the compressors and the evaporator keeps icing up. I turned, I opened up this cover to find no suction pressure on the door whatsoever when I pulled the door open, and I came in to find this thing spinning this way. Well, if you look at the cut in the veins, you realize this thing is spinning the wrong way. It's spinning backwards. So, first thing that I did was follow the fan wires down to a new contactor. And that contactor is a two-pole contactor. Well, as you well know, a single-phase machine, it shouldn't matter how you hook up the wires. But this machine... is not a single phase machine. Indoor fan motor is three phase, but if you follow the wires, you'll find that 120Y is hooked up to a contactor, and you'll find that 118 is hooked up to a contactor, but 119 goes straight through the power. It is on the power side. So this is a three-phase load using a single-phase contactor. Three-phase load, two-pole contactor. Here is the wire that's on the line side that's live all the time. And there are your two wires. How do you fix a motor spin in the wrong way? Of course, you just swap two of the leads, any two of the leads, on a three-phase motor to make it spin the right way. That's all I got to do here is correct the wiring on this motor. Turn it on. Now, spin it the right way.